Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk about my ECCV paper which is titled uh, Multiple People, Multiple Parts Tracker. This is the joint work with uh, Imran Salimi, Wen Huili, and Mubarak Shah. The output of our algorithm is uh, uh, look like uh, something like this. We want to track multiple people and also track multiple parts of the person. In uh, top row, you can see that there are uh, some people uh, walking on the street and there are lots of uh, background clutter and occlusion, partial occlusion happening in the scene. Uh, we want to track all of the persons uh, very well. And in the bottom row, you can see that uh, we can also track uh, all parts of the person uh, consistently in all the sequence. Uh, the main idea of the paper is that we want to use the persistence of the part tracks to improve the uh, tracking of the person and also we want to use the track of the person to improve the track of the part. The challenges here is that uh, for person tracking we have uh, broken track and audio switches that is uh, because of the occlusion, background clutter and misdetection of the person. For the part tracking also uh, because the appearance of the parts are not very discriminative, we cannot have very good track of the part. Uh, for example, uh, the most discriminative part of the person is the head, and the other parts like feet and leg are not very discriminative. Uh, for, uh, assume that we have the person detection in the first frame, in the second frame, and in all the frames of the video. The perfect track of that person is, is something like this. And we also have the part associated with, associated with that person and we also want to track all parts of the body. But the problem is that we have multiple persons with multiple parts in all the video and uh, the detection of one person could be associated to the other persons. And we have this kind of graph. If we have misdetection of the person due to the occlusion, partial occlusion of the part and the person, uh, maybe we have either a uh, broken track or we have ID switches. Uh, if you want to solve this two problem, we can use the consistency of the part track to solve that problem. For the part tracks also, as I said, we don't have very discriminative shape of the person, uh, sorry, the parts of the person. So for each part of the person, we have uh, multiple hypotheses in the next frame and solving this problem is very difficult. So we want to use the edges between the part and the person to improve the part tracks. Uh, as I said, we want to associate between the detected part and the persons. But since we have uh, lots of parts in each frame and lots of persons, uh, that would, uh, we would have a comb combinatorial explosion of hypotheses. So we cannot simultaneously optimize the person track and part track in just, uh, just using one uh, iteration of one optimization algorithm. So we use a tra iterative optimization using that we first associate between the persons in all the frames, then uh, using the uh, person track and track the part of the person uh, within the track of the person. Uh, in, in our method, we first uh, initialize our person tracklets. Uh, we have the uh, person detection. So you, using some uh, using network flow optimization, we have person tracklets. Then uh, we track all part of the person within the tracklet of the uh, of the persons, and we get the, the track of the parts. Using the track of the parts, we can improve the uh, track of the person by splitting and merging of the person tracklets. We can do this iteratively and after all we get the person and part tracks. For the initialization of the person tracks, uh, uh, we use the network uh, flow optimization and the node cost on this uh, uh, network is person detection score. And the edge cost is the similarity of the histogram between two person detection. We use the appearance uh, which is based on the histogram of gradient and uh, color and also we use the motion which is the histogram of uh, optical flow. Then we use the case shortest path to associate the, the person detection and get the person tracklets. 
after all, after this step, we'll have the uh, very short but uh, high confidence tracklets for the person. After we get the person tra tracklet, within the, pra uh, within the tracklet of the person, we want to do the part tracking. So for each part of the person, we will have dense part detection instead of getting just single detection for each part of the person, which is the output of the DPM person detection. Uh, when I say uh, dense part detection, we will have this kind of detection. For example, for head of this woman, we will have multiple detection. But those are scored based on the uh, response of the part filter plus the DPM deformity, which means that if you are looking for the head uh, of the person, we are looking on top part of the uh, bonding box. This is also uh, showing the score of each uh, the left shoulder of this person. The edge cost in the part tracking is the similarity of two part, which is based on the normalized cross correlation of two patches. After tracking of the part, we will have one track for each part or zero track for that part in, uh, in some specific frames. And that zero part track, uh, which means that uh, we don't have, that part of the person is occluded by some other object or some other person. Uh, as I said, we use the information of part tracking to improve the person tracking. We use the information of part tracking to uh, split the human tracklets. Uh, for that, we first train part a special relative location of uh, the person in an online manner fashion. In an on online fashion. Uh, for that, we find the relative part location. Uh, we uh, model the re relative part location for all of the parts using a 2D Gaussian model, as I showed here. Uh, and we use the head location as a reference point to find that the distribution of the position of each part. These are two samples of uh, uh, spatial relative location of the parts. As you can see, for some consistent part like head and shoulders, we have uh, low variation. And for the other parts like hand and feet, we have high variance of, uh, of this distribution. Uh, we split human tracklets at a point of low confidence part spatial model, which means that uh, we find the probability of the detection of, the, of all the parts uh, uh, relative to, the, to their corresponding Gaussian distribution and take the average of these probabilities. And if it's uh, less than some threshold, we split the tracklet of the person. And this is based on this equation. This is the part spatial relative location. Uh, which is uh, computed up to the frame t minus 1, and we will apply the detection uh, frame t to get that probability. Uh, this is one example of good detection. Uh, the, each part is shown with uh, different color, and uh, the ellip ellipsoid shape uh, shows the, the 2D distribution of each part. For example, this is the distribution of the head location, and this is the detection of the head. And you can see that the center of the detection is within the distribution of the head. But after some frame, we will have merge detection of, for the, that person. And you can see that here, for example, is this, the distribution of the shoulder location. But the uh, shoulder detection is uh, somewhere around the head. So the, uh, the probability of this part is low in this frame. So we detect, uh, and this is also true for head and the other shoulder as well. Again, we, we use the information of the part tracking for splitting the person track. We also use the information of the part to merge the tracklet of the person. For uh, human tracklet uh, merging, we use, again, network flow optimization. And the uh, node cost is the cost of the tracklet. And the edge cost is based on three terms. The part space appearance similarity and part track confidence and global motion model. Two of these terms are related to our work, which is part based appearance similarity, which is the uh, linear SVM over the concatenation of the part disc uh, RGB descriptor. Uh, and also part track confidence when we have uh, the low, con low confidence uh, 
person detection due to occlusion, we use the information of the part to connect the person tracklets. For example, if we take the entire box of the person uh, to, uh, to find the uh, appearance model for that person, we'll have very vague shape of that person and also we'll have the background information. If we have the occluder, occluder we'll have the occluder in the appearance model and if there are some merge detection, uh, the other person is also would contribute to the appearance of this person. If we use the detected DPM part model, because we have the cert a certain number of uh, detected part for each person in each frame, uh, again we have those problems of occlusion and uh, merge detection. But using our part track, we can remove the occluded parts in the appearance model and uh, also uh, we can solve the merge detection and have very clean model for each person. Uh, the other term was the part track confidence. If we have assumed that we have this kind of track and in uh, first and third part of the video we can uh, track the person very well because all of the part of the person are visible. But in the middle where we cannot track the person because some the uh, only upper, bar, upper body is visible. But since we have the upper body part, we can track them and use that as another uh, cost term to connect these two tracklets and get a uh, longer track for this person. This is the results of our method. Uh, this is the input of uh, our algorithm. Uh, uh, and we have uh, lots of person detection because we choose the confidence of the person detection as a uh, low value. This is the initialization of our, our algorithm using case shortest path. We will have uh, miss detection, which is shown with yellow arrow, and uh, ID switches, which, which are shown in uh, using uh, red arrows. And we can solve them after that optimization of our algorithm. This is the quantitative results of uh, our method uh, over four data set. We have trained, we have tried our method on two publicly available data set, Town Center and PETS 2009. And we also tried on two, uh, data, two other data sets, which are parking lot and airport, which are internal data set. And we use the clear math uh, metric. And you can see uh, this is the most important metric in among these four metrics and we can get uh, about 5 to 15 percent uh, accuracy better than the uh, better than other methods this is the output of the uh, test trend tracking and you can see in this scene we have uh, lots of background clutter and uh, well lots of person, uh, partial occlusion uh, um, due to that uh, bench and also other person include each other. Uh, but using our method, we can solve all of this and get uh, uh, a good track for the person. This is the results of our method over parking lot data set. Here we have uh, lots of uh, person, person occlusion and the appearance of the, of the persons are uh, somehow similar and also they have lots of, uh, there are lots of occlusion. And you can see we can uh, track all of this person from beginning to the end and also for this person, we can track the person even uh, in long term uh, partial occlusion. We also quantified our part tracking method. Uh, for that we uh, annotated the town center data set uh, for all the all eight parts of the person and use again clear mod to compare our method with the other method. But there's only one method which is uh, proposed in 2011 CV CVPR and they do uh, the part tracking for just head. We can also, we can only compare our uh, part tracking for head with that method. But for other uh, part we can just compare the precision recall of the uh, detection af before tracking and after tracking and you can see that uh, we can boost the uh, detection using the tracking of the part. This is the output of the part tracking for this person, which I showed in the uh, merge detection sample. You can see that we can track all eight parts of the, this person, and if there are some occlusion happening, we can uh, detect those uh, partial occlusion.
This is for another person, which is again uh, uh, occluded by the bench here. We can track all of the parts of this person and also detect the occlusion when it's occluded. This is the part tracking for parking lot data set. And again, you can see that we can track all part of this person. And you can see for, for example, for head and shoulders, we have somehow consistent part location, for, but for the feet and legs, the part location moves a lot. This is another sample of part tracking. And this is, is difficult because we have this side view of this uh, pedestrian and tracking of the part of the person is uh, very difficult. This is for another person uh, whose appearance is similar to um, five, four uh, people in the scene. Thank you.